Okay, so I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think it's possible that this bike that I thought was going to be the love of my life may be too big for me. I don't mean engine size, I mean literally. I mean the throttle's very sensitive and I still get a little awkward while riding um, because of how sensitive the throttle is, I'm not used to that, but I figured that's okay, I'd get used to that. But the, the thing that I didn't think about um, is the weight. It's 501 pounds um, wet and my, my last bike was 384 pounds. I could just barely pick that up if I dropped it. But I never realized a big bike, how much you feel that weight when you're riding around the city. In the test ride, I loved the Bonneville. Holy crap! I feel like James Bond! Ah! Oh! I loved how smooth it was, how sensitive, just everything about it, I loved it. But what I didn't notice was um lately i've been riding my bike around the city i haven't taken it out on on the country or the mountains because i'm still getting used to it so i've only been riding it um where i rode the first few months that i started riding which is uh this neighborhood behind my apartment and um and around the city um so around the city doing all the slow speed skills um, U-turns, pulling in and out of parking lots, anytime I need to um, start moving from a stop, all of those things, like, m that's when I notice how heavy this bike feels, and so many times I feel like I'm about to fall over, and if this bike is about to fall over, I cannot stop it, like, it's going down, I am just not strong enough, I weigh, yeah. Um, and the other day I was uh, checking my oil levels like a good rider and um, on the rear stand and when, as I took the rear it off the rear stand I don't know if um, the kickstand popped up before or during but on the way down from the rear stand it was not on the kickstand and uh, it went down and um, I, try, I was trying to stop it, which luckily slowed it down so much that when it went down, you couldn't even hear the sound. So there was no visible bit damage. And strangely enough, it actually landed on the exhaust pipe. So it was at an angle. So I thought, okay, good. It's at an angle. That means I'll still be able to lift it. Wrong. I could not lift it. And luckily in like a few seconds, this ginormous dark angel came walking by and I asked him to help me lift it. And he lifted it up like it was like a PVC pipe. Um, but that's a problem. And I've tried to look for crash guards compatible with this bike that are wide enough so that if it does fall, it stays up at like an almost 60 degree angle. Which you can find that for Harleys. I cannot find that for a Triumph Bonneville. So that, that would have been the solution that or getting really really buff um which i'm not gonna do so that's a problem this bike physically i cannot pick it up if i drop it and in slow speed skills i mean is it class enough i took six a class six times on my old bike anyways last year so i don't know i'm really worried about that i've I'm really, really mad at myself that I did not um, test ride a Ducati Scrambler because that was another bike I was seriously considering for upgrading, but once I rode Kate's Triumph Street Triple R, I was just so biased with uh, Triumphs and hearing about Ducatis not being reliable, I just stopped considering it. But now I'm really regretting that decision. So, I may be, I think I am gonna test ride a Ducati Scrambler after all. And I'm like, I'm even considering trading this in. 
for the Ducati Scrambler if I end up liking it and research wise it seems to check out well I don't know guys I'm really worried I mean I'm I'm 5'3 110 pounds wet and this bike is 501 pounds and I can't find crash guards to keep it high off the ground if it falls so that's a problem uh yeah I don't know we'll see what happens I mean I've only put 100 miles on it I've barely ridden it because I've been scared to ride it um so yeah 100 miles in like two months I've barely ridden it. I've only ridden it ride it like every couple of weeks so that could be part of it too that I'm just I just haven't practiced with it enough I don't know I mean like right now riding around this chill neighborhood it's it feels so easy and smooth and oh it's so pretty I love it but when I'm around the city oh my gosh that was the most miserable riding day ever okay that's not accurate but you know what I mean I don't know. We'll see what happens. One, two.